Hi guys, today I will show you how to install MySQL on Microsoft Windows 8. Let's go to Google, then go to MySQL.com. Then go, click on MySQL downloads or you have you can go on this link then go to downloads from here you can download MySQL enterprise edition uh, so it will contain uh, different uh, applications like MySQL database plus MySQL workbench uh, and other MySQL connectors JDBC ODBC connectors for .NET Java or PHP uh, so those connectors will be also included otherwise you have to download uh, those connectors separately and the, those applications separately so this is a uh, collection of uh, applications plus the database so it is very easy mm. what you have to do you have to uh, download uh, from uh, Oracle eDelivery uh, so click on this link Then it will redirect you to edelivery.oracle.com. From here, you have to sign in. If you don't have a uh, account, uh, you can uh, sign sign up for account from here. Uh, I have already created an account, so I will uh, sign in using it. After entering a password and click enter, then you have to uh, accept these uh, terms and restrictions. And press check on this checkbox and go back and check on it here. Uh, if you need, you can read these uh, terms and re restrictions. Then click continue. then from here uh, you can select the uh, database uh, select product pack from here if you have select some something else uh, these the, these are some other uh, applications uh, of oracle so select mysql database from here and select your platform if you are using uh, 86 or 32 bit processor uh, then select Microsoft Windows 32 bit. I have I am I have a, a 64 bit processor, so I will use uh, 64 bit and uh, press go. Then uh, it will list down a, a set of downloading uh, packages. From here you can download uh, MySQL installer 5.614.0 package. I am recommended to you to download uh, this one so it is uh, 213 MBs so it is less uh, size than others um, so download this I have already downloaded it in my PC so I will not going to download it uh, after download completed um, go go to the uh, location which you have downloaded uh, then you will see a uh, uh, something like this and then you have to double click on it press yes again press yes then mysql install will be pop up um, please wait while mysql install process 
the current operation it will install the mysql installer then this mysql installer will be visible from here you can install the uh, mysql click on install mysql products and accept the license and terms and click next this is find latest update if you want you can uh, find latest update and update the uh, mysql i skip the uh, this update section Uh, these are the types of setup types if you are def developer default if, if you are using this for developing purposes it is better to use uh, developer default if you are using this only for servers only it means if you are using this as a only a server then you can use uh, server only and client only full and custom uh, I am using as it, it as a developer if you need you can install all of these things full by checking like this uh, for example uh, here in the description installs all the products available in this catalog including mysql server mysql workbench mysql enterprise backup mysql connectors documentation samples and examples and much more from in the developer default uh, these are this is description install the mysql server and tools required for mysql application development this is useful if you intend to develop application from existing server uh, the setup type include MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench, MySQL Enterprise Backup, MySQL Visual Studio Plugins, MySQL Connectors, Examples and Tutorials and Documentation. Uh, I am recommended you to do uh, go with uh, Developer uh, Default. Uh, then uh, press Next. If you need to, uh, and uh, the, this is the installation path. Uh, use the default one. If you need, you can change. Mm. This is the data path for MySQL server. Uh, click next. These are the requirements. Uh, check the requirements. It will check the requirement and uh, click uh, checked uh, right. Uh, uh, you need uh, these uh, applications before installation is then the following requirement must be installed before the selected product can be installed. If you don't want to particular requirement, then go back and deselect the product that is required. Uh, it means uh, these are the uh, default uh, applications need before installation is uh, take place. So uh, check whether you have installed these uh, applications. If not, uh, go. If you don't need uh, some of these features, go back and uh, from here select server only, plant only types. Uh, if you use developer default it means you need uh, you will uh, you need to go here or otherwise you can go to customs and from here what will happen uh, you have to you need to select the features mm. it is uh, if you need uh, if you don't have visual studio if you're not using mysql for visual studio what you can do you can go here and uh, de deselect the MySQL which is studio uh, connect so uh, likewise uh, it will you can uh, configure uh, if you need if you deselect the application it will not install any of these applications uh, so I am recommending you to use uh, application so if you use default uh, developer default it means it has included all of the, all these things and click next uh, then um, it will check for the requirements uh, then uh, click next then it will show the installation progress uh, um, still it is not installed if you press execute it will start to install it will take few minutes so i'll pause the video for few minutes after completing install i'll start back it is almost completed mm, okay after completing the installation if you can if you want you can see the details 
click next then uh, here you have to configure the uh, mysql server so first one is mysql server initial configuration click next then uh, so check the use the config type as uh, developer machine and port number is 3306 open firewall port check this and click next from here you have to set the uh, pa root root pass uh, password the password you can keep it empty uh, i'll i'll give a password for uh, my uh, sql server and click next from here you can give a my sql server name Uh, I'll keep it as default. If you need, you can change. Uh, it's not a matter. Make up. Click next. Then it will configure the uh, MySQL server. From here, you can see uh, service list has changed. New services added to the monetized list. my sql 56 and click next then uh, you have to configure the uh, samples and examples then click next then it will configure the uh, samples and examples you can see the details okay guys it's over uh, after uh configuring all the settings click next then you can uh, copy the log to clipboard if you need uh, the, uh, then check the uh, if you need you can start the mysql workbench after setup or if, if you deselect it will not start and click finish okay the installation process is over so uh, what you have to do to check whether the system uh, service successfully installed go to start from here you can uh, find my sql i'll search this from here uh, click my sql workbench uh, 5.2 sc then my sql workbench this uh, standard edition will be started okay guys uh, to uh, this uh, this workbench has uh, different types of functionalities uh, from here uh, you double click on it then it will ask the uh, password enter your password and click okay then from here there are databases if you need you can uh, choose those things okay guys uh, this is the way to install is uh, sorry uh, mysql on uh, microsoft windows 8 i hope you guys understand how to do it uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe us uh, for more videos thank you bye guys